Hello everyone in a new video in Conflict of Nations World War 3. Today as usual we are playing with Colombia but I'm going to show you something very special and pleasing to the eyes. As you can see we are only in day 25. My coalition is composed of Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Cuba and Venezuela. And uh, we controlled all of the Americas, uh, Canada, United States, Mexico, all of the Americas are ours. I'm going to uh, give you a brief description of what happened here. If you can see the table, the main table, you will be so surprised to see that we have a gold user here. The opposite coalition led by the United Kingdom with 1,000. 319 points in 25 days of game and the closest one is 335 this is a, a tremendous a tremendous number it's it's seriously so damn much he controlled all of the europe so of course me and my coalition uh, we decided to put an end to this uh to this uh, uh unbelievable thing and of course we gathered our troops our ships our navy and we, we went for him as you can see i am attacking him the, oh, in in red it's the united kingdom he have all of europe as you can see he controlled everything and he has very strong armies and very strong buildings but now at the current moment we are attacking him everywhere everywhere me uh, I pushed with the 5 destroyers level 4 and another 5 destroyers of level 4. Uba attacked with the naval officer and pushing forward for his cities. Um, in this position, in this position, I found his uh, first wall of defense. It was uh, five ships, three destroyers, and two cruisers. Of course, I put them down, and now I am pushing forward through his lands in france spain and of course i'm sending another support to the uh, gibraltar uh, passage because we know that uh, morocco is his ally and he has uh, level level three uh, naval bases of course he is producing ships so i am going to send another fleet composed of four destroyers level four and one cruiser they are going to close this gap and of course control this region i am going to push forward from here with uh, level level four mobile on tier vehicles and motorized infantries a lot of them i'm going to eat all of these lands from spain france and of course i'm going to uh, me and argentina and uh, Cuba, we are going to take the lands of uh, UK. Of course, we find that he is so fortified. I am going to show you the casualties now and the amount of losses he got. Friends and enemies. Okay. Casualties of the UK and and Colombia. Let's go to day twenty-three. Twenty-five. So, let's have a look. One destroyer, one destroyer, one destroyer, one cruiser, and another one cruiser later. One air spirit fighter, one air spirit fighter. A lot of building he lost. These ships, I destroyed them. Cuba is doing an amazing work. None casualties with Cuba and three hundred and ninety-nine with United Kingdom. Me and United Kingdom. Me, I had four hundred ninety-seven casualties, but he has. 4,839 casualties and the numbers are rising so fast now they are rising so fast so uh, the strategy of play here um, first if you need to first if you need to enter Europe you need you need Navy and a very good Navy and of course you need to do a coordination with your allies to attack together because alone against the gold user and amazing and a big empire you have to be quite strong and smart at the same time so the first thing we pushed with uh, the ships uh, we, we we put the first line of attack 
of course we will find a player like this always will find the first wall of defense so we find ships here but these other territories were not protected with naval units because maybe his naval units are in other territories because now he is attacking Finland and Sweden and also so 100% he is using ships here so after I destroy Plymouth and we take London I am going to push forward with my ships and do this area to clean it from the uh, English ships either than that of course I am attacking a lot of areas here you ask why you attack uh, uh, the France territory and Spain territory and you do not attack England all at once I don't like to attack England all at once because I need to do a lot of perturbations for him because uh, my last intel has said to me that he has a lot of uh, air strikers and a lot of air so when I attack him in several points he will be so distracted and every point is uh, defended with uh, mobile anti-air vehicles so practically if he come here he will lose uh, he will lose units if he came here if he comes here he will lose other units and of course if he defends in England which is uh, surrounded by ships cruisers and infantries he will also lose a lot so that's how I am go I am uh, making a bigger picture of the attack and we are attacking a large area of the English uh, land so he doesn't know how to start to defend and we make him distracted and of course shuffle his cards and never let uh, never give him the chance to do a counter attack Weapons hot. Weapons hot. So at this particular position, the commentary I need to add that his airfield is destroyed and I reached his airfield so I took down all of his aircrafts. Let's have a look to the casualties. Um, he lost one combat recon vehicle, one motorized, one motorized, one motorized and four strike fighters, one strike fighter, one, two, two strike fighters. All of his aircrafts are down finally because he did so much casualties to cuba because cuba didn't use anti-airs so they were harmful a little bit yeah and the casualties colombia 1055 550 and united kingdom 24,000. he is literally destroyed Good morning guys in a new day and now we will check what happened with our war against United Kingdom and we will see our progression in the game.
let's have a look, everyone. Okay, so let's go to Kingdom and Spain is clean, France is clean, only Paris, and United Kingdom is clean. And now I'm advancing to Eastern Europe and eating all of his lands. This is the domination I spoke about and this is how you take down a gold user or a strong player with a huge amount of points. With a good strategy and a coordinated attack, you can easily take down the best players in the game. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the editing and we will meet in another episodes of the game. Bye bye.